Hello guys and welcome to the series of shell scripting. In this video, we are going to look at the case statements. So let's begin. First of all, case statements are the alternatives of multi-level if-else statements when used on the same variable. For example, consider this case in which we are defining the variable day and assigning the value as Sunday. Now we are comparing the value of that particular variable in multiple checks. For instance, in the first conditional, I am checking that whether it is equals to Monday or not. In the second, I am checking for the Tuesday, then for the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And finally, if it is not even the Sunday, then I am printing here unknown day. Okay. So in this case, we are using the multi-level if-else on the same variable that is day. In each conditional, I am using the same variable name. Now to replace it, we can also use the case statements in the following way. For instance, we can define our variable that is day and give the value as Sunday. After that, we will write the case, then the value, okay, in and then we will write the various patterns, right. For instance, in this case, our patterns are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and if none of the patterns are matched then finally it will always going to match with the star pattern all right so in this case it is going to execute all the codes that is written between the pattern Sunday and ended by the double semicolons right so in this case our output will be Sunday just like the above multi-level if else so the benefit of using the case statement is that it increase the readability of our program and also it is easier to maintain. So now let's talk about the case statements in detail. So in the structure wise, first of all, we write the case and then we define any particular value. Okay. And after that, we write the in. So this particular value is going to compare with each of the pattern and whatever is the first match, then its block of codes will get executed until it is encountering the double semicolon and after defining the multiple patterns we at the end write the esec okay that is the closing word for the case statement now there are few things that we need to remember always in which first of all is the uses of this closing parenthesis this is used when you want to terminate your pattern or particular string right next the code written from the pattern till the semicolons are uncountered are known as the clause okay so in this particular case we have the first clause second clause third clause and the fourth clause so there are four clause at this moment in this particular example now after that inside the patterns you can also use various wildcards that is like using asterisk square brackets question mark like that now one thing to remember here is that if you want to use the wildcard then you should not enclose the pattern in the quotes for instance, in this particular case, the asterisk will lose its special value and it will be treated as a normal character, not as a special character. If you want to use the asterisk or any other particular wildcard in the pattern, then it should not be enclosed with the quotes. One more thing, double semicolons are used to terminate any particular clause. Okay, So whenever the patterns are matched, then all the subsequent commands will get executed until unless it encounters the double semicolons and also remember that using that double semicolon is compulsory or mandatory but you can leave it for the last pattern okay so for the last pattern using the double semicolon is not mandatory but for all the other patterns it is mandatory and one more thing inside the patterns you can also use the multiple patterns using the pipe character for instance, in this particular case, you can see we are writing here pattern 1, then the pipe character and then the pattern 2. So if any of these two patterns will be matched with the value, then the following codes until the double semicolon will get executed. So you can write two patterns or you can also define here three patterns. And to write the multiple patterns, we use the pipe character, right? So now let's see an example here in which we are defining a variable with the name operation and the value hold it by it is deletion. So in this case, we are writing here case dollar operation. So the value of operation at this moment is deletion in then we had defined here various patterns. Okay. So first it is going to try to match with this particular pattern 
and it is not going to be matched correct similarly then it is going to try to match with this particular pattern and in this case del asterisk with deletion will be matched so this pattern will get matched and all the codes written until the double semicolon will get executed so the output will be code to delete user now suppose if i am enclosing it with the codes then del asterisk written in the codes is not going to be matched with the deletion because in this moment our wildcard will be treated as a normal character not as a special character so in this case this pattern match will get filled this will also get filled this will also get filled and if you know about the wildcards the asterisk always match with everything so asterisk is acting as a fallback mechanism here if all the above patterns are not getting matched then this will always get matched so in this case our output will be default code always match right if i write here suppose das something something then also this will not match this will not match and this will also not matched right and the output will be default code always match now let's see the same sort of example in our terminal now in this particular shell script i had created multiple functions for instance first of all we have the user add function which is going to print us inside user addition similarly we had created other functions also like user del which will print us inside user deletion and another function with the user backup with the echo statement as inside user backup now we are going to pass a command line argument to our shell script and that is going to be stored in the variable operation right and that particular command line argument we are going to compare with various patterns for instance we will going to compare with this pattern then with the del asterisk pattern and after that pack asterisk pattern and finally with the asterisk pattern okay and accordingly the output will be shown and that particular function will get called right and after the case statement i had written here another line that is the outside case statement okay so let's save our shell script and let's execute it for different cases so i am going to write here case and then the let's say add right so if i press enter you will see the output is code to add user inside user addition and after that outside case statement all right so first of all what happened we are storing the value of our command line variable to the operation variable after that our operation variables value is going to be checked with multiple patterns and whatever patterns it is going to match first those code will be executed and once those codes are executed the program flow will move outside of the case statement and the next particular line will get executed right now remember the pattern comparison with the value is done one by one so first it is going to compare with this pattern if it is getting filled then it will move to the second one and then to the third one and fourth one suppose it gets matched with the second one then it is going to execute all the codes written inside it and after the double semicolon the program flow will go outside of the case statement so in this case we were passing here add so this particular pattern is getting matched and in the same case if i am encoding it with the codes then you will see this pattern is not going to be matched correct so this pattern is not matched with the add value right then del asterisk is also not getting matched back asterisk is also not getting matched and finally our asterisk is getting matched so the output in our case is default code always match and once this clause is completed then the program flow will move outside the case statement and the following statements will get executed that is outside case statement right now suppose if i give here back okay or backing all right any particular string then in this case it is going to match with this particular pattern then it will print us code to take backup of the user and then the function user backup has been called okay and inside the user backup you will see it is written inside the user backup so accordingly the output has been shown if i do with the deletion so let me write here del then any particular string you will see accordingly the output is being shown correct and if i give here any non matching pattern at this moment then it is going to print us default code always match and one more thing instead of writing here strings or patterns you can also use here variables for instance let me write here variable name as del and i am going to define here value as del 
okay so in this case instead of using here del as a pattern i am going to use here variable that is the capital del and you will see the same thing will happen here also right so if i am going to call it with the let's say del then any particular string then it is going to match with this particular pattern even now so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video